Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to install DaVinci Resolve on Linux or specifically on Debian based distributions. For those who don't know, DaVinci Resolve is a cross platform professional video editing software which includes tools for editing, visual effects, motion graphics, color correction, and audio post production. It's extensively used in the movie making industry, especially Hollywood. The non-studio version is free for download. You can use this version on Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, and Linux-based operating systems without breaking your wallet. Although it's free, Resolve is not a free open-source software. So let's start by grabbing the installer from its website. Launch your favorite web browser and visit its official website at blackmagicism.com. Once the page loaded, click the download button. There you see two version of Resolve 16. The studio is a paid version. So, simply go with the light one. Fill in your personal details and click on register and download. Don't worry, they won't spam your email. The installer is around 1.2 gigs. Well, I'm gonna cancel this because I already downloaded it. For your information, DaVinci Resolve for Linux is officially support CentOS only. But it doesn't mean you can't install it on other distros. Thanks to Daniel Tvesson for awesome script to generate a dev package. This is very handy stuff to install or remove DaVinci Resolve 16 like any other dev package, instead of messing with system libraries. Ok, let's continue by browsing the downloaded files with a file manager and extract it. You can do this with a command line via terminal like a pro, or simply select it, right click, and choose extract here. Now move the bash script in the same folder, where you extracted DaVinci Resolve. Right click on an empty space, and then choose open in terminal. First, we need to run this command to install the required packages. I put the command in the description down below. The first two packages are needed for running DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu, where the last package is needed to generating the dev. Once it finished, you can now execute the script to build and generate the DaVinci Resolve dev package. Light option after the script command is used for the free version. In case you have the paid version, please use Studio. This will take a while. So, just relax and grab a cup of coffee. Anyway, DaVinci Resolve requires NVIDIA cards as well as proprietary graphics drivers. There are reports that AMD GPU may work. But I can't try this myself since I don't own AMD hardware. H264 and H265 isn't supported in the free version for Linux at this moment due to intellectual property issues. Adding the encoder requires licensing some SDK. Yeah, it all comes down to cost. 
but thankfully, we can use some tools out there to transcode the footages. When the above command finishes successfully, you should get this message. Now you can install the application using DPKG, Ubuntu Software Center, or DB Package Installer. Finally, DaVinci Resolve has been installed. Let's open it. For those of you who pay attention to the desktop consistency, you might be a little annoyed because this non-linear video editing software doesn't have window decoration. So, it looks a bit ugly on your precious desktop environment. Is that mean I can move the window? Well, not really. You can use Alt key and drag it. We can also move the window using Alt plus F7, or resize the window using Alt plus middle click. That's it. Hope this video helped you to install Divisi Resolve on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop OS, or other Debian and Ubuntu based distributions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and click thumb up if you like this video.